Most of the people have, that have been reading or listening to my scenes that I've been promoting in order to publicize something upcoming have not understood the devaluation and dehumanization, dehumanization of an individual's life. On the one hand, if you're practicing in an organization that you've created that is talk, talking about sexual har uh, harassment and sexual human trafficking, doesn't that make you look good in a community? But on the other hand, if you're teaching people in the community how to conduct that, how to perform that, or trying to investigate how people do that, that is totally an abatement of your job. The problem with people who get involved with harassment and ugly racist sort of things and supremacist sort of things is that they never get out of it once it's done. You see, people will try to play to the end in their versions of gaming on people's lives and trying to interfere with their life, ruin their records, ruin their uh, details of their life, and ruin their relationships so they can isolate them and deplete them in America. The real question that we have to ask siblings in a household is, why are you doing this? Is it because you're jealousy? Is it because you have old hatred? Or is it because you're thinking that this is going to give you much more legacy for you and your kids? In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth about what people do, and I can tell you that as much as I used to love my siblings, I pretty much hate them now, it's true. You see, people like them avoided nothing. People like them play in the shadows, and people like them hurt people. People like them ruin relationships, and people like them cause harm in other people's relationships because they never really understood the full context of a relationship. And let me tell you, motherfucking asshole brother, you don't have the fucking right to know who I did. In life, we have moments of time to display our rage. And my rage is that I have siblings that are so immoral and so incestuous in their thought that they think they have the right to conduct conversations and interviews and interrogations of people that I maybe once loved and ask them immoral questions about whether or not we had intimate relations or not. And openly, that's so immoral because those people are involved with other people and it produces a problem of both rape and abuse by now their spouses because of them. In life, we have to talk about the truth of America. And the truth of America is that we have Americans that will abuse people. We have blacks that will cut off a man's beard. We have whites that will smear him in the community. We have women who will gossip and ruin a man that they know nothing about who does not belong to them. We have men who will want to sexually rape someone's body because they just think they're not man enough. And they just want to prove their manhood. You're not proving one fucking thing under our nation. What you're proving is that you think you're above the law. And if you get away with it, your attitude is, I'm just going to keep doing this to anyone and everyone I feel like it. Great. So then we have a society full of hatred. Then we have a society full of COVID. Then we have a society that God's pissed at. And then we have a variety of people that do not know what is and isn't the, the tenth of the law.